Thank you. Uh, well, here's the thing. The wage gap still exists in every state in our country. And that means that each United States Senator represents people who are, as we speak, experiencing pay discrimination. Women in the United States of America still earn, on average, 82 cents for every dollar that their male counterparts make. And that wage gap is even more pronounced for women of color. For example, over the course of just one year, the wage gap for Latina women averages almost $30,000 less as compared to what a white man earns. That's a huge amount of money. It's groceries, it's housing, it's an education, it's savings for their retirement. It could be life-changing. And it's a true injustice that workers across our country are being shortchanged. Rather than getting the pay that they deserve so they can live their lives, support their families and themselves without so much stress and struggle. And as we know, the pandemic has really set women, in particular women of color, back even further and made clear just how urgent it is for us to act. Fair pay for your work is just not too much to expect, and it is needed now more than ever. Luckily, very soon, each of us in the United States Senate will have an opportunity to right this wrong with our votes on the Paycheck Fairness Act. This bill is very straightforward. It closes loopholes that allow pay discrimination to continue. It protects workers from retaliation for discussing their pay. It limits the use of prior wage history in the hiring process so that pay discrimination can't follow workers from job to job. And it increases transparency and accountability. So workers know whether they're being paid fairly. So they, they have the evidence to hold their employees, employers accountable if they are not. These are very simple steps, which is why this bill already passed the House with bipartisan support and the support of every single Democrat. So the question in front of us is going to be really simple. Do you believe every worker, regardless of who they are, should be paid, 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 paid fairly for their work or not? I know they should. I know that's what Senate Democrats agree with, and I'm really hoping that Senate Republicans listen to their constituents who are experiencing the same wage discrimination ours do and vote for this very long overdue solution that will help women, will help workers, and it will help our economy as a whole. Thank you. Thank you, Senator.